Hey everyone, today we're here for the World Series of Board Gaming. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's an annual event held in Las Vegas. Hundreds of people battle it out to be known as the best board gamer in the world. 16 different board games are played across 4 days, and the winner of each board game will advance to a final 16. The top 4 of those players get to share in massive cash prizes. If you're interested in participating, tickets are already available for next year. Use the code EARLYBIRD and you can get up to $100 off. Today we'll be doing commentary on the Ark Nova Ring Final. The winner of this moves on to that final 16. Thanks to WSBG for allowing us to do the official commentary, and hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Sam from the No Wonders YouTube channel, also known as Sorry I'm Like This on Board Game Arena, where I'm a current top 10 Ark Nova player. Today I'm joined by BDWSSBB, who is the current number one Ark Nova player on Board Game Arena, and today we're going to commentate the World Series of Board Gaming Ark Nova Final. How is it going, BDW? Going great. I'm really excited to see what happened at the top level of Ark Nova gaming at WSBG. So us two experts would like to see how this game unfolds. Yeah, really looking forward to it. So do you know do you know much about the players? I can start with the bottom right. So bottom left we have Stanley, who is I think a current top twenty Ark Nova player actually on board game arena, very strong player. I don't know much about the guy next to him. Um, Andrew? Yes, uh, we're not sure about who this guy is, but he must be somewhere in the top 20 too. And he is known for a notorious strategy that deviates from many players, whereas many players like to upgrade association at some point in the game, but this person favors sponsors for some reason. Wow, okay, that's very interesting. Uh, in the top right, we have Nick, who is also a very strong, just in general, board game player. I believe he participated at WSPG in 2022 and actually won two final games. And the top left, we have Mikiel, who uh, we sadly don't know much about. But obviously, to make the finals of an Ark Nova tournament, you have to win many games in a row. So obviously, a very strong player in his own right. Exactly. Once you get to finals, you can't account for luck anymore. It is a lot of skill to get up here. You definitely deserve to be participating if you know the game very well. But let's see which one of these four will take the ring. Okay, so we've just finished the setup of the initial board. We're just doing the initial card display. Is there anything that pops out to you? Uh, you may notice that there is a slow worm and a correlating project, um, Sea Cave, to release it. It's a very good release candidate because the slow worm is extremely cheap. You're basically only spending four bucks to get three conservation points and a reputation. So that is something that some players may be eyeing for, but they may not, if one person takes one of them, the other person may take the other and the combo is torn up. So it's very dangerous. Yeah, seems pretty hard to be able to get both of them from the display. Andrew takes Association to get the Five Hand University. It's a very standard opener because the Five Hand University is generally good. Retaining your cards to stitch a combo together is always handy, and the one rep is a nice bonus to progress on the reputation track. Looks like we have a build action for Stanley. We've got a three hex down on the map. So we are on ice cream parlors. He does draw a card from range. And if we remember correctly, he drew the Indian Peafowl. And if you notice, Asia is one of the projects in this game. So there's an incentive to start with an Asian animal. We can predict that Stanley is going to take a, an Asian partnership to first be able to play the Peafowl. And the Peafowl is a very good first animal to play since it start, gets you two pavilions or kiosks, and that will boost your early game income a lot. Additionally, this will set him up to support Asia for two. And supporting a conservation project ASAP is very important. But we noticed from Mikiel's first move that he actually takes the Asia partners who away. Uh, a little bit of denial, but it's most likely that he has an Asian animal as well. This is unfortunate for Stanley because now we don't know if he can get an Asia for his peafowl in another way. If he has something like an expert in Asia, then he's safe, but otherwise he's in some trouble. Yep. 
we can see Nick's first move, he just took the reputa uh, the university that gives two reputation. Pretty standard opener. Back to Andrew's move. Ooh, are we seeing... Oh, okay. We're seeing a four hex go down, it looks like. Uh, paying ten money, getting two back. Oh, he changes his mind. Okay, just building a three hex. Oh, I have to say, I love that positioning down there. Uh, it's a nice three hex. You can fit three kiosks around it. Places the yes. kiosk over the card draw and actually takes the sea cave to release a reptile in the future. So we don't know if Andrew wants the slow worm or if he already has a reptile that can fit inside the three hex because this is a telegraph that he wants to support the project, but with what? Hmm, very interesting. We see Stanley's next move is taking the Africa partner zoo, obviously having to change plans a little bit. Nothing too out of the ordinary, I would say. I guess Africa is a little bit interesting as it doesn't relate to any of the projects, but at the same time, uh, both the standard universities are gone, so it's not too surprising. Stanley's association was on the lower side as well, so he did start to run out of options. He clearly won the Asian partnership for his PFAL, but that was being by McKeel, and then the universities were gone from Andrew and Nick, so he is the last one. Being the last person to take your association can hurt a lot, since you will have last priority and might not get the thing you want. In four-player games, yes, it's very rough. Uh, we can see that Mikhail spends his next move building a petting zoo uh, in the bottom right of the map, covering the five money spot. So I also did want to ask this. In four-player games, do you think it's an advantage to be first player or last player? I would say that first player is still very important because you still get dibs on what you want. Now, the three tickets that you start with for being the last player is nice for the early income boost and the eventual points it will equate to. But if you, for example, have the same action lineup as the person behind you, then you will just get out prioritized and it will still hurt extra if you have a, for example, a low association and you can't get the thing you want guaranteed. So I would say it's not worth it. Okay, we see from Nick's next move that he just draws cards, draws from the just uh, draws from the deck. Looks like with Andrew's action uh, cards at five, he's doing the same thing. Ooh, can we see any of those cards? Do we have a peek? No, we can't quite see. We can only speculate what he has. Discards one and ends his turn. We might see the same thing with Stanley's cards being at five as well. Oh, do we have a peek on Stanley's cards? Oh, did, did I see a science museum? Oh, what could it be? It's I, a sponsor of some sort. Well, I think I see a leopard as well, which would make sense for the three hex and the Africa uh, partner zoo. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a cards action. Debating whether there's anything worth snapping up. Uh, low mountain range always has to be a possibility, but it snaps up the slow worm. Pretty interesting. Uh, well, I guess Reptiles is one of the conservation projects. It's an extremely cheap reptile to help with the Reptiles project, so that's a big plus. And if you know, species diversity is also on the test, so having an extra tag for cheap is very helpful. Yeah, and I was also going to suggest that uh, with Andrew taking Sea Cave, there might be a small possibility to release it in the future. Looks like we had the fourth cards action in a row for Mikiel. Oh no, he's just going to X out cards, not choosing not to draw. What do you think about Xing out cards? 
Uh, there are notorious Power 6 sponsors, so this could be a telegraph that he has a Power 6 sponsor he wants to play. Or maybe he just doesn't want cards, or it could be both of those reasons. Very interesting. We see a petting zoo getting built for Nick as well. We have a bit of a petting zoo face-off in, in the top side of the board. It is very possible that these two players are competing for Species for 5 and using Petting Zoo as their edge for the project, because a Petting Zoo is a sixth animal tag, which means that you don't have to get one of the five conventional animal types. This helps a lot since Petting Zoo animals are very cheap, and if you start finding more, then it's a huge benefit. Right. Right, because if even even at even at uh, two petting zoo animals, it's still worthwhile, I'd say. But once you get to three, it's just a super efficient use of your money. You can see a bit of friendly banter, possibly uh, telling each other off for both starting with petting zoos. Bit of a rivalry going on up there. They're also having fun discussing about the potential to break five altogether. <laughs> But Andrew refuses to cooperate and decides to play a sponsor. Yep, playing down the spotted hyena compound. Does he get lucky? That's not an animal. <laughs> so spotted hyena compound allowing you to hunt one straight away. If you draw an animal, you get to keep it. And then for all future predators you play, you get to hunt the amount of predators that are currently in your zoo. So, uh, just going to be a great card for species diversity, as we've touched on. It does give the predator tag itself. Stanley, also not interested in breaking, throws down a tech institute. This gives an X token immediately, and then for all future breaks, give an gives another X token. So, uh, very useful card, especially in four-player games, it's... Hard to find the time to get your X tokens, but this is just a great source of them. One of the better sponsor cards. Very strong start. Also giving a science tag, and I, I still believe that I saw a science museum in that hand, but I can't guarantee it. We can see Mikiel building a size 2 next to his petting zoo there. Pretty nice spot for the kiosk, uh, already generating one income being next to the petting zoo, which is a unique building. We can see that Nick's sponsor's action is at five. Interestingly, no one's played an animal yet. Oh, we also didn't see any uh, strength six sponsor from Mikiel, just keeping that X token for now, choosing to build instead. Yeah, so what could be the deal with that? Does he not have any sense of urgency for the Power 6 monster? Or maybe he doesn't even have one in the first place? Yeah, I was... well... To me, it would look like he either has a Strength 6 sponsor, or he wants to somehow use an X token to play two animals and then cause the break. That would seem a bit risky, but it's possible. Okay, Nick just advances the break. That gives us an idea that Nick doesn't have a playable sponsor, so he instead uses his sponsors for money. Yeah, which is fine. I mean, if you don't have a sponsor, what else are you going to do? Uh, but yes, it, it is interesting. It gives us a bit more information about his hand. Uh, it also gives everyone on the table... The hurry up night. Now is the time to play animals before the break happens because it's super close. But Andrew thinks that there's a little more time and decides to build a petting zoo, joining the crew. <laughs> a third petting zoo? Wow. Use it to draw a card as well. Was that a stoat that I saw? Yes, it's another cheap animal that will help with the species diversity test, but though that's not important for Andrew, because he already has the predator icon, he might just want a cheap predator. Oh, no, he changes, Ooh, his, changes mind. his mind. 
takes my migration recording instead. That makes sense because we already saw that he picked up the sea cave before. So now if he can find that science tag and be able to play migration recording, uh, he'll, he'll be able to get extra conservation points every time he releases things, even use the same project. Ooh, and he covers the player's sponsor for money and plays down federal grants, which is, again, one of the better sponsors to play. He gives three money immediately and three income every break, plus it is that science tag that he needs. We can see the judge just being a bit careless about throwing the money around. Stanley nearly grabs some, some of uh, Andrew's money, but Andrew gets it just in time. Okay, Stanley's time to play animals. We do see that leopard come down. Pretty efficient animal. Uh, allows a hunt for, but also gives just some decent points and a conservation point. Oh, we can see that the deck didn't get refilled, uh, the display didn't get refilled properly. Does this invalidate the turn? And I think we just witnessed him getting very unlucky there, drawing four sponsor cards and not a single playable animal. It is very unfortunate, considering that the deck is a majority of animals, so you'd expect at least one, even as one of the tougher animals to play, but not even getting an animal from Hunter 4? That's, that's t terrible. That's really rough. Can we... Who shuffled the deck? Do we have <laughs> inside information to who shuffled the deck? Okay, we do have that X token going on, on animals. Yeah, kind of an odd way to do it, but I think that was the plan all along, just being able to play two animals. So we of course know that one of them is the petting zoo, but then what's the second one? Is it another petting zoo? Uh, would it, well, I would assume a size 2 because he went out of his way to build a size 2 enclosure, but it could just be a second petting zoo animal. We have the donkey as the first one. Uh, one of the better petting zoo animals gives an X token immediately. And what is that second animal going to be? What is a two hex animal that can fit in there? Well, there are there are many options. Oh, that's a very nice move. That is the horse horsefield tarsier. So that would be a that would be the main reason why Mikiel took the Asia Partner Zoo. It requires the Asia Partner Zoo to play, but it's also going to give him two reputation and jumping four, which will advance the break token fully. So now we have a break right uh, before Nick and Andrew can play animals. This is extremely devastating for these two because they don't have animals to play, which means their income is reduced. You see, Andrew's still at zero t appeal, which means that he's only at the base five income. Now, of course, he has the federal grants and one kiosk touching his petting suit to alleviate this a little, but that's a far cry from good income at round one. Yeah, uh, obviously very rough for Nick there, but he does have that slight advantage of, well, in this case, pretty nice being the fourth player, so he at least does have some income. Uh, and he does have his petting zoo down touching a kiosk. Whoa. Nick's reputation nearly gets knocked off the track. That would be devastating to his potential upgrade coming up. What do we think about the refreshed row? There are some nice looking cards here. Low mountain range, always scary to come up against. Uh, there are just a lot of big birds that are super cheap to play and give you a lot of conservation points if released. There's also Explorer, which can be pretty nice. Not sure if anyone's going to upgrade sponsors to play it, but it is one of the better cards if you are going to upgrade sponsors. It may be a bit of a hassle to snap Explorer or get it through some other means, but maybe it's worth it. We'll see if one of them thinks it is. There is also one more notable card in the row, the Komodo Dragon. Hmm. Yes, because Asia... 
So actually Asia is one of the projects and reptiles are one of the projects. So it fits both of them, but also iconic animals in four player games are going to be worth a bit more because you have more players to leech that iconic, those iconic points off of. So that could be a high priority snap for one of the players. And not only that, if we remember, Andrew took the Sea Cave release project. So if someone eventually plays a Komodo Dragon, they can ride off of that project later. True, because it's quite unlikely, well, in saying that, Andrew does have a size 3 hex, so it would be kind of unfortunate for that player if, if he released a size 3 reptile. But yes, there's a, there's a high chance that the 3 spot will be left open on the Sea Cave. So Nick takes the other university. Yep, very standard opening. So pretty fortunate to actually get both the universities in a four-player game. But that just allows him to get two upgrades immediately. He upgrades animals and is that build? Yes. You can see Andrew does play animals now. Playing a size one reptile into his size 3 enclosure, well, this is a signal if ever I saw one. We're pretty sure he's going to release it next move, or in an in a upcoming move. Does not use the sunbathing, and instead just plays a second animal. The first petting zoo animal for him, the sheep. The judge just making sure that he's paid everything properly. We trust Andrew Wood, though. We can see that his association is at 5 now, but um, if he still has the migration recording in hand, do you think it would be worth playing that before releasing? I would say it's not worth it, because you need a project down as soon as you can, and try to boost sponsors to 4 by passing... For next token sponsors being at three and then you can use one x token to play migration recording would take too much time so we can suspect that andrew does one of two things he either supports habitat uh not habitat diversity but species diversity for three to just get a project down and then he can plan to play migration recording later to release the reptile or he just releases the reptile this round that's a very good point. Andrew does have three different species. We can see on Stanley's turn that he took the Asia partner zoo that he wanted last turn, and he upgrades build. We can see on Mikiel's turn, he is spending another X token, the X token he got from causing the break, to support Asia at two, which is not too unexpected. We saw that he grabbed the Asia partner zoo and then played the Tarsier in the first round. So a nice project to support. Still leaving sponsors at five. And he actually upgrades Association from reaching two Conservation Points. What do you think about Association as a first upgrade in a four-player game? Very risky, and it's usually not something people would want to do, because if you spend your money on donations, sure, you get the cheap donations, and a four-player game, there's more room for cheaper donations as well, since the full donation track is unlocked. However, what's the... Where are you going to get your tags for future points? You spent all your money on donations, so mm. how are you going to get other sources of income? True. We can see on Nick's turn that with his upgraded animals action, he is playing two petting zoo animals, which is a nice appeal boost early. That puts him in the lead for appeal. Oh... This is one of the more unorthodox first bonuses. So we can see that it, that it uh, was indeed CK first in over the species diversity. And snapping and upgraded sponsors, wow, that's pretty unexpected from uh, from Andrew there. So I guess on ice cream parlors, because you have access to all these kiosks, it does it does increase your income quite a bit. Maybe you can get away without getting a second worker or the five money immediately. But takes the snapping for Explorer and then upgrades sponsors straight away. 
That's a pretty this scary a pretty, combination. Yeah, it's also very surprising that most players would take the worker as their first bonus, but Andrew has other plans. He wants to go full exploring, even with confident with his measly five bucks. <laughs> Yes, well, Explorer will give some, uh, some money immediately. It does offset not getting the income a little bit, but the second worker is, is a little bit interesting. If we can see on Stanley's turn that he is taking an upgraded build action, building another size 3 for his P-Fowl. Little size 1 in the corner there. But where is the money for the P-Fowl coming? We can't see any way for him to get the P-Fowl this round unless he gets some money from playing sponsors. He's really hoping to uh, hopefully barter with one of the other players to sell his X tokens for some money. Otherwise, he might just have to wait till the next break. Or hopefully, yeah, as you said, find a sponsor that gives him some money. We can see on Mickey L's turn that he's building a size 4, spending an X token to do so as well. It seems to me that his sponsor's action has been in the way a lot. It might have been more prudent to exit down a bit earlier. Because he's spent two or three X tokens now just ignoring the sponsor's action, but as he covers the clever spot on his map, he is able to clever it down now. We can tell that Mikhail also doesn't want the break to happen since he has an incentive to use a second worker that he earned from supporting his first project. Yes, true. So actually, yes, yeah, so in, uh, in opposite fashion to Andrew, he upgrades Associate and did take a second worker with his first uh, reward there. Nick is using cards at five. We're going to see if he has, if he's eyeing something to snap or he's just going to draw from the deck like in his first round. This will, of course, advance the break a couple of spaces. Something that I'm sure Andrew and Stanley are looking forward to. Nick's thinking really hard about if there's anything worthy to snap. There's clearly got to be something on his mind, but no, just decides to draw cards from the deck. Might have been looking at that Komodo Dragon you mentioned earlier. It does look very appealing. With two players already having the Asia partner suit, quite a few Asia icons down already. If I had to speculate who would want the Komodo Dragon the most, it would be Stanley. Because Stanley has full reason to go for Asia 4 or 5, while leeching off of the extra Asia that everyone else has. Yes, very true. And not only that, the CK project is out. Oh, what's the snap about? Andrew spending an X token to snap there. Uh, I actually just missed what was snapped. What was it? It was low mountain range, releasing a bird. Uh... So, okay, we're not too surprised by that. We know that Andrew still has the migration recording in hand. It might get, might get some play soon. Stanley does snap up that Komodo dragon. Um, yeah, his, his uh, three hex will still be for the Peafowl, we can assume, but it's a great animal to play later, that dragon. And if we're looking at the camera, do we see a special visitor looking at this game, spectating? Oh, who is that behind Stanley? <laughs> it can't be the designer of the game, can it? <laughs> it's it's hard to tell. To me, it looks like the, the guy from the arcade sponsor. Hmm, <laughs> a very familiar face. Obviously, whoever he is very interested in the ongoings of this match. We can see that Mikiel is using his cards action, which is at 5 now. And using it to snap up the Galapagos Tortoise. Uh, oh, that seems like a very interesting snap. I mean, it is a very good animal. It gives you a lot of points. It has a sunbathing 4, allows you to sell a lot of cards. But quite difficult to play needing two America's icons, and he currently has zero. So it would be more for the long-term plan. But we should note that Reptiles is one of the projects, so it will contribute to that. And we're back to Nick's turn. Thinking hard, he has his upgraded build at 5. It would seem like a good time to use it. The bigger question for Nick probably would be, how is he going to use his build 5? Hmm. Also interesting last move that Mikiel did not use his association action. 
It is very interesting. Usually players are very uppity about using their association as soon as possible when it's at the correct level. So we would have thought that Nikhil would have taken association three to grab it other partners too. Yeah, clearly um, prioritizing that Galapagos taught us very highly, worried someone else might take it away. Okay, we have the full full uh, five build being used, spending 10 money. Nick thinking very hard about how it's going to be used. It is expected. Build is one of the hardest things to use properly because you have to account for how your animals are going to fit in your zoo, how everything else will fit in the future. And especially on this map, the kiosk placement can be quite tricky because you are just getting three bonus kiosks that you have to fit in your zoo somewhere. And they obviously have to be spaced three apart from each other, so it does create some problems, especially on this map. Looks like it is going to be the classic one of everything. So generally with an upgraded build action, a lot of players like to build a size 2 enclosure, size 1 enclosure, a kiosk, and a pavilion. The classic. You get to play two animals together, you get to boost your income with the kiosk and pavilion. Ah, uh, we see Nix about to get his eighth reputation and therefore another worker. Yeah, so we see that he does cover that reputation spot on his map and draws the Great Hornbill from range. He is very close to that second worker with eight reputation. That's a great spot to be in. Also covering the player sponsor for money area, playing expert on, on, on herbivores. That will just contribute to species diversity, very handy herbivore tag for that, but also could potentially give some money throughout the game. can see Andrew plays immediately. He's been wanting to get that Explorer out for about the last five minutes. So very eagerly plays it down and gets a decent amount of money. How much money is that? Four money? It's a little bit, but it will start adding up as he starts deploying new tags. Right. Ideally, you don't want to get too much money from it so you can play those tags in the future and get uh, money and appeal when you play them. So a good expected move from Andrew there. Stanley's spending 2x tokens on sponsors, so he really does want that break. And I think that's a great move for him. He has these x tokens to throw around because of his uh, Technology Institute. And we know that he wants the money to play the P-Fail in the next round. So just causing the break even before Mikiel spends his second worker. That's the risk of taking the second worker. Right. In a four-play game, you have uh, very little control over the break. So ideally, you would want to spend that second worker as soon as possible. This could be a punish for McKill not using his association at three when he could have. At the same time, if he didn't uh, use the cards action earlier, the Galapagos tortoise would have disappeared by now. It would have fallen off the display. So just uh, interesting prioritization. We'll see how that pays off throughout the game. I am curious to see why Mikhail wanted the Galapagos giant tortoise so badly. Hmm. It is, in fact, a solid animal, but where are the Americas coming from? Yes. We'll have to wait and see. Well, we do see two American animals in the row. We have the uh, capuchin, a very notorious animal in um, interactive mode, where it can steal money or cards, but this is a friendly game, where instead it'll just draw one card. Oh, so it's been toned down. I did actually not know that this was a friendly game. That's very interesting information, actually. Did the players agree beforehand, or this was just the tournament uh, decision to play in friendly? It's a tournament decision for all players to be playing in friendly mode, so all the hostile abilities like pilfering, constriction, hypnosis, they've been replaced with friendlier abilities that simply benefit the player playing them. 
looks like I was wrong earlier and there was not a science museum in Stanley's hands. It must have been the technology institute I was looking at, but it does appear on the display right now. Uh, if you meet the requirements, it is one of the best sponsors in the game, giving 10 money immediately and then giving conservation points uh, for every science tag you play in the future, as well as one immediately as well. We can see Mikiel first move after the break. Does take that America's partner zoo. Is there a donation as well? Yeah, it looks like there is. Snagging that first donation is always very nice. Two money for just one conservation point? That's a steal. Yeah, that is that is a great value. Oh, I don't, I don't know about this. So the display is a bit messy. Someone's been very careless placing these cards down. We can see that the European grass snake has nearly fallen off the board. Does it belong in folder four or folder three? Hmm. <laughs> We can see Nick is going to spend his worker straight away. Uh, I've been noticing that he he does like to associate very early into the round, which I think is a good habit to get into. Next stage a partnership, which leaves Andrew as the only one without one. Yeah, Andrew only has one university and no partners who's uh, behind the other players right now. This is going to be a size four building interesting and even more interesting if not covering the last kiosk bonus okay so well that would be a large indication that he has an animal that requires water tags one or two we might be able to do to deduce that it is a bird like the pelican uh, we saw that he took the low mountain range earlier. I would be betting money on it being a pelican. Stanley, Does he have enough money to play the pelican? He's very broke at the moment. We can see that Stanley does take his first university for the game. The science and two rep university. It's time for Stanley to join the university crew that he was left out on earlier. Maybe a slightly annoying block for Andrew, taking away that the uh, normal pairing university to go, to go with the hand size one. But Andrew might have better things to do. Uh, also giving Stanley the second science tag. He's working his way towards that science museum. We'll see if he uh, has ambitions for it or not. And we can see that there's a science institute, which is also two more science. Right, that would be the perfect number to be able to play the science museum. Looks like Mikiel is going to play animals with an upgraded animals action. Playing the brown spider monkey. Oh, we can actually see that Primates is one of the projects. And that does give him his second America's tag for the Galapagos tortoise. So we can bet that it will eventually be played. It does, it does look that way, but obviously a very expensive... Uh, expensive animal it will have to come a bit later in the game we have noticed that mikhil is starting to collect monkey tags so does, is he eyeing the capuchin just for a third primate and starting to work his way to four or five primates we'll see it would make a lot of sense for him because he also has the america's partners already obviously one of the requirements to play the capuchin Uh, still only the one petting zoo animal so far. I would say the one petting zoo animal is a large indication that it's simply to be an extra tag for species diversity. Very good call. And we can probably assume that he doesn't have a second one because he only played one animal there and he has seven money left over. So if he had one, he could have played it. Nick thinking hard about his move. He is playing sponsors that always just Xing out sponsors. So again, doesn't have a sponsor to play. Only played the one sponsor off the map so far. 
curious. Why didn't he just play sponsors for money? Does he not want the break to continue? Yeah, that would be a large indication he doesn't want the break. Uh, a good reason for that might be because he is about to get his second worker. Hang on a sec. I thought Andrew didn't have enough money. Oh no, he had the perfect amount of money. The Pelican cost 13 and that's exactly what he had. He even gets a rebate with his Explorer. Amazing. That's pretty nice. So the Pelican gives an instant build action, which you have to take, you can't exit out. But with the money from Explorer, he just decides to build a size 1 enclosure. Uh, in the bottom right of the map, over this five money. If I were one of the other players, I'd be scared of what Andrew's about to do, because oh, we know yeah. he took the low mountain range. I think we know what Andrew's about to do, and I don't think there's much the other players can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley's we playing some animals. Stanley's, Stanley's panicking just a little. <laughs> it's not quite clear. He is... He is uh, Keeping himself quite composed, I would have to say. But he does play that p foul that he's wanted to play since the first break. Finally gets it out. And plays the slow worm as well. How are the players looking for species tags right now? Stanley has three. Andrew has three. Mikiel has three as well. And the Nick's only got one. No, Actually, no, he yeah, does Nick's have two. Got two. Nick's, got two. Herbors. Nick's got two with an animals action at five. But still a close race. Generally, Species is one of the easier projects to complete. So it's pretty normal for players to compete over it. See that Mikiel is building another size four enclosure. Uh, not for the turtle still. The turtle requires a size three. Doesn't seem like he's interested in the Capuchin either. Not building a size 2 for it. But it does cover that second kiosk spot on his map. Places the kiosk next to the size 4 that he just built. Looks like he is completely out of money now. What was that little exchange from Andrew? What did he just give the judge? Sure. Hmm. Possible that Andrew was trying to bribe the judge with some in-game money. <laughs> so that strategy pays off a bit later. But Nick is going to play some animals now. We do see the great horn build that we saw him take from display range earlier. That gets him his third different species tag. But also gives him the one reputation from the upgraded animals action to get his second worker. Also a nice little benefit is he started to work for Asia for four or five. Some good progress. Yes, he's uh, currently at two so far with the Asia partner zoo and the hornbill. The hornbill also allows him to boost build to five or to one. It doesn't look like he's touching it. Oh, no, he is boosting it to five. Okay. Oh, he does want to build. Interesting. He Well, he does have plenty of money, actually. He is the richest out of everyone here. It might have been him that should have tried to bribe the judge. But we see Andrew is now playing the low mountain range. Still before the migration recording has been played. That is very interesting, considering that his sponsors was at three and it was perfectly playable. That... That is very interesting. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Uh, he might have been worried about a break happening. And it's just more important to spend the worker straight away. Uh, also could have been racing for these benefits at five conservation points. That is true. With McKeel creeping up at four conservation points, I think Andrew had the mindset of being afraid that McKeel would steal something that he wanted. That's a very good point. Is that a European partner zoo there? What could the European partner zoo be for? Um, 
It's pretty interesting because it's not one of the typical partner suits you start with and it doesn't relate to any of the projects. So if I had to guess, I would say something like the European Common Adder requires a European partner zoo, but in uh, obviously in friendly mode it gives the determination ability, which is an extra turn, one of the best powers in the game. You can see that Stanley is going to draw cards. He snaps up the science museum that was on the display for quite a while. He's definitely eyeing that Science Institute to pair with it. Yeah, it look, looks like it's going to be a great pickup. Just a question of how he gets it now. Well, he is very close to a draw from Reputation Spot on his map. We can see that Mikiel is spending some X tokens to support a project. Oh, supporting Primates at two. Yes, he has played oh. two Primates. Interesting. He did have a road to get four primates with the uh, Capuchin and the Red Shank Duke on the row. But he chooses to cash out right now. Yeah, the timing does seem a little bit interesting, but I guess blocking the other players from getting two primates is not the worst thing in the world either. It also gives him good tempo at getting this university at the five conservation point reward. And there was one available for him, the Five Hand University, which is very nice for him. Unfortunately, yeah. Andrew, he could have taken the university, but he didn't find the two science university appealing enough. You can see Andrew making a sneaky move on his board, uh, unflipping the size for enclosure. Hopefully the judge didn't notice that, but a great little move to get away with, freeing up an enclosure. Nah, it was due for the Australian Pelican that he released. It was a correction. <laughs> But is he being sly for other reasons? We don't know. <laughs> Nick is choosing to build with uh, 10 money again. If we're looking at the player cams now, Stanley does look quite resigned. Uh, leaning back in his chair, hands behind his head. Throwing his head back now in like kind of disbelief. It This game just hasn't really been working out for him. I would say not getting the Asian partnership did hurt his tempo because he had major preferences to play the PFL and support Asia for two. Right. But Mikhail stole that. But maybe there is hope with that Science Museum and Science Institute sitting there. That would be a, a really good break for him if he could get the Science Museum up. You can see both he and Nick are... Uh, Stuck at sort of zero and one conservation point each, not working their way up the tracks yet. But to compensate that, they are currently both leading an appeal. You can see actually Mikiel has a great combination of both. He's currently leading in points. Although he doesn't have any sponsors down, which could hurt him later in the game. Andrew giving him some pointers of where to place buildings, it looks like. Is that something you want to do in a tournament setting? Potentially helping out your opponents? Risky. Hmm. But shows the kind heart that he has. The judge just tossing some extra kiosks Nick's way. Must be feeling bad about it, this turn taking so long. So just helping him out by giving him some extra buildings. Oh, Whoa. he actually does take the Science Institute from display range. This Stanley all... is extremely disappointed. We can see Stanley shaking his head. Is this just a pure denial move, or does Nick have good reasons for this card? But we can see Stanley is very upset by this. Looks even heartbroken. The display is refreshed. We see Mick had done appears. Uh, could be an interesting combination to go with Nick's expert on uh, in, on herbivores. It looks like Andrew's just going to draw three cards from the deck, move that break token along a little bit. That discard pile looking very shaky right now. Hopefully, someone fixes that up soon. Otherwise, we could see a collapse. Stanley head in his hands right now. 
currently his turn contemplating very hard about how to redirect his game after Science Institute was taken away. There is still the option of the uh, double Science University next round, so it's not the biggest deal, but obviously having both would have enabled a lot more conservation points. can see that Stanley is building a size 3 kiosk and pavilion. We know from earlier that he still has the Komodo dragon in his hand. I would assume the size 3 is for that. Excellent animal for Stanley with how Asia and reptiles are conservation projects and then he can eventually release it, riding off of Andrew's project that he established. Yeah, great one-two punch there. And we'll probably get max points from Iconic, just due to how many Asia symbols are currently out there. So I have to speculate, who will win um, supporting Asia for five first, Nick or Stanley? Because clearly Andrew is out of the competition with no Asia partnership, and he doesn't seem interested in it anyway. But Nick is starting to work his way up, and Stanley we know has the Komodo Dragon. Hmm. It'll be a... Not a... Pretty interesting race there. We see that uh, Mikael does break for five, getting five money. Still no sponsors down. Has been pretty unlucky in that regard, or just isn't interested in supporting any at this time. Uh, playing any sponsors. Can see Andrew playing native farm animals. Still hasn't got the migration recording down yet, but he's released two animals already. But our native farm animal is going to be a pretty nice play here. Does give another unique tag, while also giving uh, a few appeal there. Native farm animals giving appeal for every border space on your map that you are connected to, but have not covered yet. A little nice appeal, but I would say that Andrew is more interested in getting the extra species tags because he's still in that race despite releasing all of his animals. Yes, well that puts him up to three different animal tags again. Break happens. Stanley is very happy to cause breaks with his Tech Institute. Yes, just giving him an abundance of X tokens, which are always always useful throughout the game. See what comes from the display. Uh, we can see with Andrew snapping that he does take the Duke, size four primate. Might be a little bit hard to support primates at four or five at this stage, but it does also give an Asia tag. And it gives two new tags for his explorer. Which is always always beneficial. Mikhail is gonna take a cards action, just drawing three from the top of the deck. That discard pile looking precarious again. Does finish his cards action, passes the active player card to Nick. Nick is also going to take a cards action. Also choosing to draw three from the deck. Row clearly isn't appealing to them. Yes, they're not interested in the bird synergies. Interestingly, not interested in the meerkat den for Nick. Especially with Alama just sitting there, Nick has reasons to start stacking a lot of herbivore tags. Yes, they can be quite efficient, but he could be focusing hard on that Asia 5 or Species 5. There would also be valid reasons to not go for it. Andrew is going to play some animals. We have one bird down, the Great Area, allowing him to draw a card. Puts it in a size 3 enclosure. Well, we know with his migration recording, 
uh, if he ever does get that down, he'll be able to release the rear as well, which means it doesn't really matter what size enclosure it goes in currently. Curious, but have we seen an actual animal that needs three hexes go in that enclosure? I don't think so. <laughs> it's It's been a little bit weird for, for sure. Now, he does play the Duke as well, giving him just a lot of money from Explorer. This Explorer is paying off currently. This animal's action will give him an overall points lead. With still a decent amount of money left over. That was four new tags for Andrew, and that's his fifth species. Oh wow, that was, uh, he's just shot up in species, yeah, that is the fifth species, indeed. That petting zoo has really been useful for, for, for giving him that fifth tag. Uh, so in a very definite dominant position right now, in a current points lead, and has the initiative on supporting species at 5. Should be able to get there before anyone else. Just telling Nick what his move was. Seems like Nick can't believe it, that he's just managed to take away species 5 immediately. Seems kind of in disbelief himself. I do find it ironic how Andrew was able to support two release projects and still have the time for supporting species for five. Very unusual to uh, to say the least. Normally when you release animals, you should not be winning a race to species five. But the other players have had other priorities. And it looks like Andrew's going to capitalize from that. You can see that Stanley is taking a build 2 action. Oh no. Undoes. He's, he's thinking very hard. It looked like he wanted to take that meerkat den from the display. What I think he was speculating, or what I would speculate he was doing, was building a size 2, take the meerkat den, and the size 2 is even covering a play a sponsor with money yet bonus, so he could play the Meerkat Den on the last kiosk spot, and the Reputation spot. That's a very good point. Decides against doing that right now, instead supporting uh, Species Diversity just at the lowest point. Uh, obviously with Andrew having 5 species already, there's not much point trying to race to 5 anymore, you just want to support it at any, at any place that you can before the other players do. And takes an extra worker as his reward. With all the money he has, it's time to get another worker, especially with how his reputation is so low. Agree with you there. Yes, he is quite far behind the reputation compared to everyone else. Mikhail is going to play... Oh, the tortoise comes out, finally. We have to see this bad boy in action. Let's see if he decides to sunbathe any cards. Yeah, it's the perfect amount of money to play, too. Very nicely calculated there. Gets the three X token rewards from crossing eight conservation points. Also gets him another reputation, so now he is one away from getting a third worker. And puts him just slightly behind Andrew in overall points, but still quite far ahead of the other two players, just because of his large amount of conservation points. This does make the question, what projects can McKeel support from here on? Hmm, it looks pretty barren. Unless he has uh, some in his hand. And he does decide to sunbathe one card, it looks like. So he gets four money back from that. Next, still in disbelief about how Andrew can win Species for five. It certainly seems like that. He is thinking very long and hard about a lot of his turns. Sponsors comes out. We know that he has the Science Institute from earlier. 
is that what's going to be played? It is. Uh, usually, you'd I... like you, usually you'd like to have a reason to play it. Uh, he... We can't we can't see it. Does he have another card that complements it, like Gorilla Field Research? It's possible. Well, he already has the third university as well. It looks like so he need seems like he needs a lot of science for something. Um, possible that he has the research conservation project. That would be one reason to go for five science tags. Otherwise, maybe medical breakthrough would be would be the other option. Potentially both. Mm, potentially both. We see that species five is done and dusted. Yep, Andrew supporting species five. Uh, crossing that 10 conservation point threshold, so making everyone discard one of their endgame scoring cards. Do we have any insight as to what each player might have for their endgames? I guess there's not nothing too telling. It remains a secret for everyone. Stanley is going to draw cards at 4 before his animal's action. Oh, I can see a few cards in Stanley's hand. Yeah, we can see a few. Just hoping to draw something playable, I guess. Not not sure why the reason for cardsing before. He does spend an X token to cards at five, actually. Is this an indication that he really wants to snap something? Well, no, he's just drawn from the deck. Uh, just draws three from the deck and discards one. But we saw in his hand was the Komodo Dragon and the Science Museum from earlier. And I think I saw him draw a Wombat in there. I do find it interesting that he would spend an X token to cards at 5 instead, but not snap. Yes, that is interesting. He obviously just is really fishing for something, and spending that X token gives him another chance of drawing that perfect card that he needs. Mikiel is going to build. counting out the spaces on his map. Also very vigilant, giving himself the appeal for placing down a pavilion, something that I always forget to do when I'm playing. Covers a draw from reputation range and decides there's nothing really that he wants to draw, so just draws one from the top of the deck. Oh, that's all he can build. Ah, uh, yeah, we saw... So, so that was the four money from his sunbathed card earlier, so spending a five power action to only build two things is always a little bit sad. It does hurt his tempo quite a bit, though, I would say. He's going to have, have his animals action at five before he knows it without any empty enclosures, although he does still have his petting zoo with some space left. I would say that's his only saving grace to keep his tempo going. Can he find them? Mm, or maybe he has a release project in hand that would free up an enclosure. That would be a good option as well. I guess he could also support Sea Cave by releasing the Galapagos Tortoise. That is an option. It is unfortunately one of the not so good releases because you would only get four conservation points by trading in eight appeal. Right, not the best trade off. And especially if you're not getting the reputation from playing the sea cave itself, as it's already on the board. You can see that Nick is going to play animals. That looks like a sun bear to me. Ah, the notorious sun bear. <laughs> An animal that I think most experts would say is one of the best animals in the game, giving you a whole additional action, on top of it being one of the best actions in the game, an association action. I bet Nick had plans to try to support Species for 5 with that Sun Bear and another uh, new tag that he had, but it was too late. That's a very good point. The Sun Bear giving two tags by itself, the Predator and the Bear icon, uh, is a great way to sort of steal Species 5 from somebody else, but just a little bit too late for that. Does play his third petting zoo animal. 
which is going to give him a big appeal boost. He still leads appeal, or he gets back in the appeal lead after that, but still sitting at one conservation point. He does use this extra action to support species at four to get three conservation points. So he has it to is, choose. It's the compensation that he gets for losing the race, unfortunately, but it is at least something. Yes, it's better than missing out completely. He does choose to upgrade uh, for passing two conservation points. It's going to be a cards upgrade. Which is good timing for him. He is uh, he is on that threshold of t of ten reputation, so he wants to upgrade cards to get past it. We do see that migration recording now coming down for Andrew. I would say good timing, but it seems like it's about two breaks too late. It is a little unfortunate that he couldn't deploy the migration recordings before he released his other animals, but Andrew must have sensed that he was running out of time and just needed to support projects ASAP. It has worked out so far, him, so far for him. Looks like Stanley's taking another build action before he plays animals. He is doing that size 2 move that we saw earlier, playing the meerkat den straight away, drawing it from reputation range and then playing it for money. Curious. Where would the meerkat fit, though? It could fit at the bottom, but is that ideal? I was thinking at the top to cover the kiosk. The last kiosk spot would make sense. We'll see how Stanley plays it out. He is deciding. It looks like it is going to go at the top to cover that last kiosk spot. And he also wants to build a size 1 somewhere. But he's not sure where. If I had to guess, he would fill that hole near the kiosk with that one hex. Would make a lot of sense. You want to sort of avoid leaving too many small gaps on your board. It makes them hard to fill in later. And he does put it there exactly. He also drew a card from the top of the deck for covering a secondary draw from reputation range. The display gets refreshed from the meerkat den disappearing from it. But, yeah, Nick has to point out to the judge to do his job. Oh, a rhino. Rhino considered one of the better animals as well, although maybe a little more underwhelming now that the easy project such as species diversity is not available for the rhino to pick up. Uh, but it is an Asia animal as well. It will contribute to this uh, Asia project that the players are still fighting over. There is the possibility that someone would want the rhino to start working towards herbivores. I can see Nick and Stanley trying that out. That could be successful for, bo for both of them. Obviously both incentivized to play herbivores. But it looks like Mikkel is just going to spend 2x tokens to snap it up immediately. He wants in on that rhino action. So this could be an indicator that he does indeed want to release the, the uh, tortoise so he has a free size 4 enclosure for this rhino to fit in. That would also hurt Stanley a lot. If we remember, Stanley has that Komodo dragon, and if Akil supports Sea Cave with a medium animal, then Stanley can't do anything about it. That would be devastating. Nick is going to take a Strength 5 build action, spending all 10 of his money. For a little bit of everything again. Who would you say is currently leading in this game? I would say Nick has potential with how much appeal he has, but remember Andrew has a lot of sponsors coming out and he still has, um, he's about to get another worker potentially if he can get another reputation, which he can just from building. And if we remember, um, there's still that low mountain range available for him to release his Greater Rhea. 
right? That is the huge benefit of migration recording, just allowing you to support those projects multiple times. Uh, it looks like he's going to spend an X token to take a build 6 action for a size 4, a kiosk, and a pavilion. Telling the judge to give him his appeal for the pavilion. Does get that reputation for a second worker, or for a third worker. Has just the five money left over and one X token. Stanley's player board is just a complete mess right now. He's got money everywhere, X tokens everywhere. This could be an indication of just how much he's given up on this game. It could just be describing who he has, who he is as a person. Just very messy individual. But he is going to play animals right now. And he's joining the association game as well. Oh, there's the Komodo Dragon that we've been wanting to see. Yes, so for reaching 5 reputation, he does unlock that association upgrade. And looks like right now, just counting how many points from the Iconic he's getting, it should be the maximum. That is the only animal he's going to play. Uh, not a lot of money left over to do much else. I think I saw a Veiled Chameleon in his hand as well. Could be useful for snapping up something later. Mikhail is going to support a project. Oh, it's, a, it's an America release. It's going to be that brown spider monkey going. That's that, a very good release candidate. Yeah, a much better release candidate than the tortoise because you get to keep the conservation point that's on the card, so you're really only losing the six appeal from it. And he's getting five conservation points instead of four if he had released that tortoise instead. Right, much better trade-off. Plus, because he's playing the card from his hand, he gets the reputation as well. Very nice move for Mikiel. And he's going to unlock the 12 money bonus, which I quite like. I like that move. It's been very interesting to see the vastly different play styles. We can see that he still hasn't played a single sponsor for the game, whereas Andrew on the other side of the table has played, is that five sponsors now? And that is indeed five sponsors. In fact, have we even seen Andrew's sponsors to break? I don't think so. I don't think there would be time to, he's just played that many sponsors. We can see that Mikil has been hogging all the good donations, so all the other players might be left behind, even though if they want to upgrade their association. That does give him a nice uh, lead with the conservation points, but we can see he's lagging behind in appeal quite a bit, and that does hurt his income a lot. Nick is going to draw cards with his upgraded cards action, drawing them one at a time, it looks like. Andrew has his cards at five now. But it looks like he's going to spend an X token to associate instead. And it is going to be releasing that greater rear, getting his three enclosure back. Interestingly, he could have done it on the Low Mountain Range or the Yosemite National Park, but chooses to do it on the Low Mountain Range. Can we read anything into that? Uh, there is the slight chance that he has a small, a small American animal that he plans to use. Good call. So he'd rather, yeah, he might want to instead reserve that spot for a small American animal and just take up the small bird 
project instead. But what if someone just takes that away from him? We see a llama that is perfectly playable for many people. Mm, true. We can see that Andrew did take the 12 money reward from that project. Stanley just going to spend his turn to X out sponsors. Uh, clearly doesn't want the, want the break before he spends his association worker and doesn't have a sponsor to play. Mikiel is going to play his first sponsor of the game, Expert on Asia. This is a great one to throw out there. The only disappointing thing for him is that he's already supported Asia at too much earlier in the game. I would bet that Nick and Stanley are jealous that he has the expert on Asia. For sure, it's a great stepping stone to get to that 4 or 5 uh, icon requirement. Nick is going to associate and just grab a partner zoo. Deciding which partner zoo to grab, looking at his cards. Decides to go with Africa. Interesting. Andrew is going to take his cards action now. The break is getting very close to the edge. Just draws three from the deck. Speaking of upgrades, I would be pretty concerned for Andrew a little. Normally, players would have three upgrades at this point, but Andrew's just sitting here at two. But somehow, Andrew is also in the lead. Well, he's uh he's traded the tempo for upgrades with just associating and getting conservation points that way. But yeah, we can see that he has one partner to one university, which is very atypical. We can see that Stanley is going to do a nice two combo here. Stanley does Association 7 to get a partner zoo and a university, which is a great use of his X tokens, but maybe a little bit surprised he didn't take the two science university. Oh yeah, we do remember that he has a science museum that you'd like to work towards, right? Yeah, we still know that he has the science museum in hand. We can see Mikiel building some enclosures before playing animals. Animals at sitting there at five. With how little money Mikiel has, it does make a little sense. He'd rather have the break happen and then he can play his animals. That's a very good point. Uh, yeah, a lot of plays are tight for money right now. It has been a very long round. I'm sure everyone is eagerly awaiting that break. Nick is doing a sponsor action at 5. Playing the Geologist. There are no rocks though, so he doesn't get any appeal from playing it. He does get endgame, potentially, but what else? Well, on this map in particular, Geologist is one of the best cards because there are 27 spaces that are touching rock, uh, rock spaces on this map. It's just one that you'd like to play a lot earlier. Is it a little late? It could be a little Nick late. Nick doesn't think so. Yeah, maybe just doesn't have anything else to play with his sponsor action. Andrew going to play the Bard Owl Hut here from straight from the display. Uh, with an upgraded sponsors action, you can do that. It also makes the annoying, the usually annoying six cost of the Bard Owl Hut, Bard Owl Hut non-existent because sponsors upgraded sponsors gives you an extra strength when you play sponsors. It also fits perfectly in his map. The straight three hexes. Very good pick up there. Nick really wants that hydrologist. Uh, I'm sorry, not Nick. Yes. Stanley wants that hydrologist. Stanley snapped that up straight away. That's uh, why do we think that is? 
on ice cream parlors, it is very easy to to connect to all the water and get that end game conservation point. But what else does Stanley gain from this? He only gets one appeal from playing it because he has no other water icons. Well, he has the slow worm, so he gets two appeal, oh. which is only marginally better. But we also know that he has the science museum that he still wants to play, so he's got at least two sponsors in his hand right now. And it seems like a very high price to pay snapping it up when your upgraded cards action is at five. Uh, choosing to take only one card instead of seeing four and discarding one, it's a pretty hefty price. This we could can see that the break token is one away from ending the round, but <laughs> does anyone want to end it? Who wants to end it? <laughs> This is the thing, as the rounds progress later and later, uh, it is much worse to cause the later breaks, because you will have typically less actions in the last round, and the last round is when you get the majority of your points. So there will be a bit of break chicken going on, with no one wanting to cause the last break. You can see that Mikheil is going to spend an X token on his association, just grabbing his second university for the game. This will give him his fourth upgrade. Four being the max number that you can upgrade in one game. Interesting how everyone but Andrew has four upgrades and Andrew's still sitting at two comfortably. Yeah, he, he does not seem to care at all about these upgrades. And another noteworthy thing, everyone else has upgrade association, but Andrew is sitting here comfortably with his upgrade sponsors. And build, yeah, but not animals. Not having animals upgraded could end up hurting him if he draws something that requires an upgraded animals tag. Nick is going to take another build action. We'll see him get some nice immediate money back with his geologist. How many rounds do you think this game will have left, given how close the players are to crossing? I could see it last two more rounds, but if someone is able to squeeze out just enough points, there might be only one round left. It could be between Andrew and Mikhail with how many points they have. It's an interesting thing to try to figure out in the moment. Uh, do you have time for that other break, or is the game going to end prematurely? Something that you have to really think hard about. Uh, Andrew is going to play an animal playing the Ecuadorian Squirrel Monkey into that size 3 enclosure again, which has once again seen another size 2 animal fit inside it. And if we were speculating why he used the low mountain range to release his Greater Rhea instead of release Americas, we were correct. He did, in fact, have a small American animal to play. Very good call there. Yeah, so it looks like another release upcoming. Stanley just X'd out sponsors on his turn. We are back to McKeel's turn, and he's going to play a second sponsor for the game, the Adventure Playground. Using it to cover up a reputation spot on his map, to get him to that 11 reputation and get an extra conservation point that way. The Adventure Playground also giving 4 appeal by itself. I see Nikhil is participating in Break Chicken. <laughs> yes, th this, uh, this Break token is still just one away. Who is going to cause that break? Someone has to eventually. It's not going to be Nick, though. Nick is going to play some animals. Finally crosses that 10 reputation. Plays the rock monitor. Uh, that could have been the reason for his Africa Partner Zoo earlier. This will allow him to sunbathe some cards if he chooses to. Looks like he's going to do it for the max and sunbathe three of them for 12 money. So actually getting a net Impressive. positive. And if I had to guess, that 12 money is going to go to for that deer. That would make a lot of sense. We saw that he has picked up the deer. And plays it straight away. 
also getting some money back from it being a herbivore. That's actually very useful for Nick too, because the Release Americas project is out and it's a medium animal. So even if Andrew plans to release a small American animal, animal that won't block Nick. Very good point there. We see the display is refreshed and the large animals conservation project appears. Given how many releases were in this game, I'm not sure anyone can support that right now. A break does trigger, but surprisingly from cards. Yeah, Andrew is going to take a cards action at four just to trigger that break, draw a couple of extra cards. Display gets refreshed and... Oh! Not yet. Players have to discard first. Okay, no, everyone's happy. Go ahead. Secretary Bird and Zoo School. Zoo School, typically one of your better early game sponsors, but it might be a bit late to see it now. I guess it's it always gives you a reputation and a conservation point, so it's never a completely bad thing to play. I see a perfect place for the Zoo School on Stanley's map. <laughs> ah, yes, a spot in the top left is just asking for a Zoo School. Andrew is going to snap up the secretary bird from display there. Sadly, won't be able to re release it with the, the low mountain range, but maybe if the Africa release shows up, he'd be in luck. Time for Stanley's turn. He is going to take his build action. Just building a size 4 uh, in the top right corner of his map, covering an, an X token, getting that. Curious, why a 4 hex? And on top of that, why near the water? Does he need that X token badly? I don't think so. And also choosing not to fully build with a pavilion as well. Um, must have counted out his money and realized he needs all of it. Otherwise, you'd normally would build, build a pavilion there. Can see that Mikhail is doing a cards action before, uh, before his animals action. Could be hoping to draw something. Uh, could be hoping to get more cards to pouch or sunbathe. Those are good reasons. But we do know that he does have the rhino that he wants to play. Oh, the Siberian tiger. That is very scary. Especially with how everyone has been working towards Asia. Yeah, one of the most efficient animals because of the very high requirements that it has, you know that if you can play it, it's going to give you great value. And because Asia is one of the projects, there are a few players with that many Asia tags in play currently. So it'll be a little mini race to get to the Siberian Tiger. Nick looking at it longingly with his cards action at 5 currently. Is it worth snapping the Siberian Tiger with cards 5? We're about to see, I would not put it past him. It's a very, very efficient animal. But no, it looks like just going to draw two from the deck. That's an interesting amount. Would suggest that he's eyeing off two cards from the display that he might want to pick up depending on what he draws. I could see him wanting the uh, small little Chinese water dragon as it does give an Asia icon, and a Reptile icon, in fact. Drawing one more from the deck. Hoping for something good. And it is that Chinese Water Dragon. How are the players looking in their race to Asia 5? It looks like Nick has three icons currently. But that is two away from... Oh. He does need three Asia icons. Is there a way for him to still win Asia for five? Well, yeah, if he plays uh, two Asia animals or has something like a breeding program or breeding cooperation, that would help. 
But yeah, still racing Stanley for this. Stanley is about to play Animals, and he does have three Asia icons himself. Andrew is going to release that monkey. We did see that move coming. Finally benefiting from migration recording, giving him those extra conservation points. And he does unlock the X token rewards from his board. The X tokens, instead of something like pouching, um, must want to support another project in a hurry or just have a use for those X tokens. Always handy to have them, of course. Back to Stanley's turn. Going to associate uh, at five with an X token before playing animals. Very interesting. What is he going to support? Well, he's going to take 12 money immediately, just supporting reptiles at two. Um, now would be a kind of bad time to release the Komodo Dragon, because he still needs that Asia icon for getting to Asia 5. I think if Stanley had two more playable Asian animals in his hand, he would have done animals at 5 first, and then support Asia at 5. That's so a very this good might point. Be an This might be an indicator that he's given up. <laughs> Very true. Also gets an, an additional 5 money for reaching 5 conservation points. If I had to guess, Stanley's next project is to release the Komodo Dragon. I would not be surprised to see that at all. Mikhail just going to take a partner zoo. His third partner zoo. That does unlock his last worker, which gets him 2 conservation points. So a decent action. And it looks like he is going to donate. Donating 10 money. That is a large amount to be donating. Does he have that much money to blow? I don't know. Money's looking tight for him. Once you start getting into 10 or 12 money for a donation, the payoff is a lot, lot worse. Oh no, it is only 7 money still. He gets 3 back, so 7 is not the worst. Perhaps he wants to make the donation track worse for the other two. That's a very good point as well. We can see, yeah, the other two... We can see Nick in particular is about to use his association action, which is upgraded. He's just going to go ahead and associate at 5. Deciding what to do though, he does not have that uh, those 5 Asia icons yet. But it is just going to be releasing the deal. It does keep him busy. Yeah, it's absolutely something to do. The deer, not a bad animal at all to release. It's given it's given him some extra value with the expert on uh, in herbivores, and just going to give him an, an enclosure back. He spent nine money for co four conservation points. I'd love that. That's a great deal, yeah. Ooh, it looks like he's donating as well. I guess all the players can see that, that the game is going to end relatively soon. The bigger question I would ask is, can someone do it within this round, or does this game need another break? Well, it would seem to me that Andrew is the closest, and he has 40 money in hand? 45 money in hand. That should be enough to get a lot done. He has empty enclosures as well, and two workers. I'd say it's very likely Andrew can cause the end of the game. It's just a question of, will the other players cause a break before that happens? Looks like Nick is going to take an extra worker for his reward. Which is a good move. That'll give him his two workers that he needs to support another project this round. There's still that race for Asia, but it seems like Stanley might not be able to do five if he could have just played animals earlier for the five Asia. Yes, we'll, uh, we have Stanley's animal action coming up. It'll be interesting to see what he does there.
Andrew is going to play Expert on Large Animals. Does give him two appeal immediately for the Duke that he has. And we'll just make Large Animals cheaper next time. It's just something to do to get sponsors out of the way. Stanley is going to play his animals. Ooh, we have the Sumatran Tiger. So that's what the four hacks near the water was all about. Very nice animal there. Going to give him a lot of points. Also gives him the one reputation needed to get his last worker, which is another two conservation points. So this is looking like a very nice move here. And also the Vale Chameleon that we saw earlier. Amazing. That, that's, that's five Asia. That's five, and he has plenty of X tokens in hand to support it next move of the game. Stanley is not out of this game just yet at all. He has an appeal lead now. But can he get the conservation points to catch up with Andrew McKeel? Well, he's going to be close uh, if he does indeed support Asia at five. He's going to catch him up a little bit. I still see a big disparity between the within the conservation point track. There is, and also Stanley is out of money as well. It's going to make him hard to get additional points this round, aside from the conservation project. McKeel thinking about his move. We know that he still has the Rhino in hand. Uh, we might be about to see it. What project would the Rhino give him? Oh, it's not the Rhino! This was kind of unexpected. I thought, I think we were all thinking it was going to be the Rhino. It's another primate, but he has, again, already supported primates at two. Not only that, but what's his cards action going to do from the Mangabee? Well, it's uh, in the perfect spot to snap something up, but it doesn't look like there's anything snap worthy. And I think spending X tokens here to draw more cards would be a mistake. Uh. Choose us not to use the cards action. Are you actually allowed to do that? Yes, it's an option. Really? Yes. So... Do we think that's intentional, or he legitimately just forgot? There's a potential that he forgot. Hmm. I would just have done cards at three to at least boost it down, and maybe see if I can get something useful. Or maybe he doesn't want to cause the break. It he doesn't want to break two at all. It seems like he would have more incentive to, to cause the break than others, because he has spent the majority of his money. So, a little bit curious there, but... Uh, it does pass on to Nick's turn now. Nick has his sponsors at 5 again, debating what he's going to do with it. Uh, possibly deciding if he wants to cause another break, or if he's looking at playing a sponsor. But he is just going to... exit out. He's just going to X out sponsors, he, do he does not want to break either. Andrew throws down some money for the Australian Dingo. In, is that in that same size three enclosure? Are you kidding me? I am. We haven't seen an actual three hex animal still. I think that three hex has gone through some wear and tear at that point. <laughs> it's getting very dizzy from being flipped over so many times. I can tell you that. But the Dingo is going to give him some 
more unique icons with Explorer, giving him the Australia icon. And let's not forget the Spotted Hyena compound. Oh uh, yeah, Spotted Hyena compound letting him draw as well. Uh, we can see that there's a South American Koji there, which would give him another bear icon. Be interested to see if he decides to keep that. Uh, decides not to, going with the European Pond Turtle. And is he going to play a second animal? I thought it would have been more straightforward for him to play the secretary bird by now, but he's thinking really hard about something. Yeah, that's very curious. We know that he does have the secretary bird, and it does, yeah, it is getting played now. This will also allow him to draw more cards with the Bard Owl Hut that he has. And it'll also give him more Explorer points with the Africa icon. I have never seen Explorer be used this much. It's kind of crazy, yeah. It does combo well with all the release projects he's been doing because all the icons vanish and then they pop up again to activate the Explorer. It's a unique use of Explorer that, yeah, I have not seen before. Pick something relatively quickly. Uh, the, the turn does move on back to Stanley. We'll see how aggressively he wants to spend his X tokens here. I would not want to let Nick have any chance of getting the Asia away. He is just going to X out cards, it looks like. Getting a fourth X token there. Just really prioritizing getting that association up to five. I can understand from Andrew's perspective how he doesn't want to cause the break because he's got money to spend. He still has things to do. Nick mm. probably has things to do with all the money he has. McKeel should want to break with how much, how little money he has. I suppose he does have the workers he wants to use, but where are they going to go? And can he get them to Association 5 and what projects will he support? These are all great questions. Interestingly enough, um, he is not linked up to the last kiosk on his map. The only player not to do so. That is surprising. Usually players are eager to go through all the kiosks to get that extra money. Yeah, and we can see that with his lack of appeal, like lower than everyone else, income should be high on his priority list. But he has been hitting the projects especially hard, currently in second place in conservation points. Building a size 3 and a size 2. Another size 2 is kind of surprising, as he already has one unused currently. Still also has that petting zoo from earlier, which still only has one animal in it. No, oh, he's changing his mind about the two hex. I think that makes a lot of sense, just going for the normal kiosk and pavilion. Although a kiosk at this stage is going to have very diminishing returns, with there being possibly zero or only one more break in the game. Deciding against the kiosk as well for that reason, going with a one hex instead. I think the players all realize just how little time there is left in this game. Finally does cover up that last kiosk spot. We'll be able to use it to get another, another reputation, which is always nice. See what he wants to draw. Now that he's hit 13 reputation. He is going to draw the ring-tailed lemur, which could fit in that size 3 enclosure that he's just built. But where's the money going to come from? Well, he yeah. has to start pushing on the break. Now he uh, really wants another break. He's also taken both his money rewards from the association track. Well, from his board for the association. So he can't get money that way. There's a reptile breeding program that everyone here can use except for Andrew, but I don't think Andrew cares about that. <laughs> Nick is going to take another build action, building a size 5 enclosure. 
Uh, this is the first size 5 enclosure that we're actually going to see for the whole game. Where did that Siberian tiger go, by the way? Oh, oh yes, it was Stanley who took it. So oh, Nick still wants a 5 size enclosure for something. Hmm. If I had to guess at this stage, I would assume something like an elephant. Maybe a dugong because it's touching all the water over there. Oh, here we see Andrew with the reason for taking the Europe partner zoo earlier. It is that European adder giving him the, the determination ability. He's even willing to play animals at one and use an X token. <laughs> Very interesting. This could, could this be the end of the game, this action? I mean, if it's, if it's releasing the secretary bird, it very well could be. Oh, it's just Europe released to release the adder that he literally just played. Funny little sequence of moves. Very efficient animal to release though, it only gives uh, two appeal, and he's going to get four conservation points for that. Also choosing to pouch two cards, getting him extremely close to finishing the game. And if we were vigilant, we can figure out what his last card is. I bet he wants to end the game with that pawn drill that he drew. Good point there. Uh, yeah, Animals is at two. He will be able to play it in the spot that the uh, adder just freed up. So it's not the uh, most glamorous way to end the game, but if you're going to end the game before everyone else is ready, it's going to give you a great advantage. Stanley realizes that there is so, so little time left. What is he going to do with his association at three and Animals at two? Well, we do know that he has Asia 5 uh, incoming. Although his shot at first might be a long, a long way away, he can still hope for third or maybe even second. He is going to play the raccoon, animals at two. Raccoon lets him boost his association action. Given the amount of X tokens he has, he'll be able to do a couple of association actions in one go possibly getting uh, third university or fourth partner zoo. I can see that Stanley wants to end the game with association nine, get his last university, support HI5. It's a nice way to at least not be last, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, and if, if he does manage to get an another turn, he'll finally be able to play that science museum. McKeel going to sponsors at five right now. He is going to play the zoo school. Uh, it is going to be two extra conservation points for him due to him getting a 14th reputation. Not a bad second last move, or well, we can assume second last move. It will allow him to draw a card. There's nothing really too appealing. I would think about the Reptile Operating Program. It's a project that he could play. That's very true. Um, he must have eyes on another project, given that he does have the X tokens and workers to support a project as his last action. The Breeding Program, he does not have enough money to play from range, so yes, it's interesting that he drew large animals instead. Nick is going to play animals himself. Gets himself a conservation point for reaching 11 reputation. And let's see what he plays. Ah, oh, it is the Asian elephant. Devastating. Two Asias in one card. And it's a powerful card in itself. It does give him the, those much needed Asia symbols. And hopefully he for his sake, that he can draw a nice endgame. 
uh, even though he is quite a long way behind on the uh, on the track here, these end games could give give him a lot of uh, points that the others can't catch up. How are the players looking for their end game points? There's really not oh. that many. So the good thing about Stanley's last action is. If he does manage to get the third university, it'll give him extra points for his technology institute as well. Yeah, Stanley does have the incentive to get the third university for that one extra point. It looks like Andrew has a point from native farm animals. Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh. The Indian Cobra that, giving a determination ability. That's come out of nowhere. And it's his fifth Asia. Oh. So it's possible Stanley was a bit greedy with his last move, not just spending the X's to support Asia at five. This is always a risk. Uh, very hard to predict, but with the size five enclosure, it could have always been that elephant with the two icons. Yeah, Nick that... went from two Asia icons to five, and he gets to seal the project. That's devastating. That is devastating for his game. Stanley... And it might be the edge Nick um, needs to fight the others. Stanley just head in hands right now. Can't believe what he's seeing. Great move from Nick, though. Must have set that up for quite a while. He's going to donate as well. Getting six conservation points there. All of a Probably sudden... Nick is closing the gap. Yeah, all of a sudden, he is clearly in second place. With some money left over and another turn. Alright, this is the European Pond Turtle for Andrew. Very neat there, using all his enclosures. And getting just enough points to trigger the end of the game. So last turn for everyone else. Well, this is going to be that association action we talked about for Stanley. He is going to get his third university and support Asia at four, sadly. It hurts extra because un unlike some of the other projects, there's a two conservation point difference between su supporting at five versus supporting at four. Right, very big difference. Especially in a game that's going to be pretty close, like this one looks to be. Oh, instead, not supporting Asia, just uh, releasing the Komodo Dragon. It does make sense, because if Stanley releases the Komodo Dragon, he loses two points, but gains 12 from his four conservation points, versus supporting Asia with four tags only gets him three conservation points, which equates to nine points. Right, that is one point better. Well spotted there. Mikhail is also going to play a project. Oh, it is the Africa release. Andrew wishes he had another turn right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess not. It is the large monkey going to be released. Which is still okay. Uh, it's a net positive of... One reputation and seven points, I believe. And he's going to take that pouching ability like all the other players have done. And last turn for Nick now. 
I'm not sure what Nick can do. Does he have a playable sponsor to rack in a few more points? Yeah, no workers on the board. Sadly, doesn't look like he can unlock that last worker, which gives a great two conservation point bonus on this map. Looks like he is just going to play that Chinese water dragon from earlier. Last few points that he can acquire. <laughs> it's also not the best way to finish the game, but with that extra end game card from the elephant, is it going to be enough for him to get first? It'll be a very close finish between Andrew and Nick. The tiebreaker is, of course, Conservation Project supported. Andrew will be very hard to beat in that, supporting six in total for the game. That's an incredibly high number. None of the players are counting out their scores. Andrew going first, uh, pointing out that he has one conservation point from the native farm animals, which he gets and there. And he has another from the federal grants. Ah, uh, yes, just barely making it to nine reputation. Stanley gets his technology institute point. Nothing for McKeel. Nick pointing out that he has geologists. And now end games. Wow, is that conservation projects from Andrew? That's very impressive. Actually, it's one of the out. hardest. Yeah, it's one of the hardest goals to reach for, but he somehow did it. Very nice play there. We have architectural from McKeel. Getting two for that, touching all his water and rock. We have favorite zoo for Nick. One of the easier ones. Only reaching two from it, though, just a bit short, and research zoo. Uh, so that was a big reason why he played that Science Institute, actually. He must have had research zoo from the start. But with that, it looks like Andrew is the winner. So I never actually asked this BDW, but what is your name? Um, <laughs> well, a little bit of a surprise for a few people, but it's... Also, Andrew. <laughs> oh, and w were you in Las Vegas around October? Hmm. Uh, yes, I did have a ticket to fly over there, and then I was in the WSBG area, and then uh, I played a few Arc Nova games, and then I found myself around three people fighting for a ring, and... <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! So for anyone still out of the loop, uh, BDWSSBB, who has been helping me commentate today, was indeed Andrew from that table, and he got first place, so congratulations there. Um, very impressive victory. I was surprised at how the game was unfolding for me, too. I find having only two upgrades extremely unorthodox, even for my standards. Yeah, it just seemed to work out. Um, you always had projects to support. Getting through six of them in one game is no easy feat. But yeah, beautiful play with the migration recording, releasing maybe four or even five animals. It was five animals released in total. <laughs> yeah, wow. The winner of this match, of course, going on to the World Series of Board Gaming finals a few days later. We won't spoil the results for that. But uh, good luck for those games.